Good to have you aboard for Michigan. We'll get into the Wolverines here at 2.30. I've got a couple of questions. And no, I don't think we're going to sit here and break it down. I don't think enough people even watch enough of the games to matter. Um, You know my thoughts. You know I think Michigan's got every shot to get to a Final Four. The key is, A, A A&M can't play the way they played against North Carolina, and you can't play the way you played in your first two games. Now, the key, and we'll get to it at 2.30, you get the big turnaround here. And I would expect Beeline will have this thing uh, running a lot sharper. I would expect to see better tonight. Now, make no mistake, I think it'll be a close game. I think it's going to be a race to 60. These are probably, I don't know if it's statistically true, but I know I'm not far off. These are two of the three best defensive teams left. And you're facing each other. So uh, just settle in. Don't get all turned off if it's a low-scoring game. But we'll get to it at 2.30. I I had to start with something um, a little lighter, just something I don't understand, I suppose. And it it just it hit me last night. Like, did everybody watch this Zuckerberg interview? Like the big the big Facebook thing going on, the data leak, right? I read an article about it. I did not watch the interview. All right. Well, it was like huge news yesterday because Mark Zuckerberg doesn't do press. He doesn't do interviews. And that's fine. I respect it. I love it. But he did one. It was a big deal and all this, right? So I happened to be watching Cleveland and the Raptors, which was a highly entertaining game. And I, I flipped over to watch this interview, right? And... I'm watching it, and he's trying to explain why the company is, you know, under such, you know, well, what mistakes were made and blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to get into the actual issue. Let me tell you the one thing I thought about. And like I said, we'll get Michigan at 2.30. I'm looking at this, and I'm going, why the hell is this guy still working? Like, why, why are you even answering these questions? It's the same thing with the dude who owns Amazon, Bezos or Bezos, whatever his last name. Why the hell are you working? What's Mark Zuckerberg's net worth? You want to hit me with that for a second? Uh, just under seventy billion, sixty-seven point seven billion. Bro, why are you working? Why are you doing an interview with CNN or or whatever outlet to talk about seventy billion dollars, dude? What are you doing? Does anybody else think this way? Like, how much do you need? This guy's over here doing crisis management for his company. What? That should be somebody else's problem. I I just, it was the only thing I thought of to the point where I didn't even hear the words coming out of his mouth. I was almost offended he was sitting there. I mean, you can literally do anything you want. Money just, at that point, money doesn't even register. He could buy every team in the NFL and still have $8 billion left over. Like, why are you working? Everybody out here in the real world, we hustle until we don't have to, right? Some people, they never get to retire. Other people get to retire early. Whatever life's journey is for you, whatever your spending habits are, whatever your investments are, whatever it may be. My point is, when we got enough, we go. What is it with these super rich dudes who just don't walk away? Like, what? Can you imagine? Like, I was watching a little bit of the news, and then I flipped over because I guess CNN secured the rights to the interview. And it was just like, oh, Zuckerberg is extremely stressed out over this. And I'm like, you got $70 billion in a bank. Who cares? Facebook could burn down. What does it matter? Like, I mean, Mikey, do, 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 am, I, am I nuts? That's all I thought no, of. From a practical standpoint, you're not because you can't. Uh... I heard him answer three questions. I went back to the Raptors and, and Cavs. I couldn't take anymore. I'm like, why is this guy even working? You should be on a beach. Yeah, money's just money's not even an issue at all. You're not even close to him. I just think when you get to that level, when you already have all the money, you just got to find. For these guys, they probably have to find something else to do, and all they focus on is power. Yeah, but find something else to do is different than running this company, and you're you're doing crisis management. But that's power to him. That's uh, power to still run things and I don't have, need it. have control. I don't need Think it. Think about it. If you already have all that money, the only other thing you want is power and control. 
and just you know have as much of that as possible. I assume that if I'm to try to get in the minds of them, I assume that's what he's thinking. I just I don't know. There, you're right. There is something with these guys. It's the same thing with the Amazon guy. The hell are you working for? Look at Warren Buffett. He's always worked every single day. And yeah, but he's a hundred. There's really nothing else going on. You're Warren Buffett. Money's the only thing you got. It's not like Warren Buffett's hitting the bar and trying to get some numbers. You're a hundred. Money and power is different. Zuckerberg is is in the prime of his life. What the hell are you messing with this for? Same thing. Bezos doesn't look like he's that old. So go enjoy yourself. Now you'd be bothered with this crap for. I think it just has something to do with ego. They well ego, and it's what he built. He built it from the ground up in his dorm room at Harvard, whatever. And I'm talking about Facebook. So he just has to stay involved. It's but his see, brainchild. I, I, I think guess. this way with coaches too. Is like you look at certain guys. Like if you've coached for a long time, you've gotten everything you've wanted accomplished. Why do so many of these coaches hang around so long? You've got all the money you need. Just retire. Like when you're an old college coach, right? Like if you're Jim Beheim, why are you still coaching? You've you've coached at Syracuse for 48 years, I think. Why are you still coaching? So if you were him, would you just sell? Would you just I'd be out, cash Harvey. out? Oh my God. Seventy billion dollars? What well, what are you working for? What are you aspiring to? He must love it. Because love I, you know, what? I hear from a lot of these guys who say, like, all all the money does is help you not worry about money anymore. Right. Now you can concentrate on there the business. Were, Roberto, the way people made it sound, this dude's hair was falling out due to this crisis. $70 billion in a bank and his cat's were What? And I'll speak, I'll pretend that I'm his publicist and I'll say, you know, you know, a lot of people depend on him and this company has a lot of employees and, you know, it's it's very good that he's uh, Thanks, he cares Roberto. so much. <laughs> I know. Hey, listen, I'll I'll get to I'll get to the Michigan stuff. I just I, I don't know what it was. Last night, of all the things I watched, LeBron dropping 17 dimes without a turnover. Incredible performance. Um doesn't matter what highlight it was, that is l- the prevailing thought of the evening for me. What the F is this guy doing working? Can't you just walk away? My God. If your name was on something, meaning a, a multi-billion dollar company like that, does that what is that what makes the difference? The fact that it's it know. is his, it's his name. Yeah, but I it's, guess it's not called Zuckerbook. No, but I mean everyone knows that's his company. That's but, what he bro, started it. If that guy disappeared tomorrow, right, and just decided to show up on a beach, you think people would identify him? That's the first time I've seen Mark Zuckerberg outside of a still photo. I mean. Mike, you and I can relate on this, but not Sully because he grew up very privileged. But um, very, oh, very true. <laughs> but my dad's on a business trip imagine, to Sao Paulo. I, I, I couldn't. I grew, up, I grew up middle class, guys. Enough. <laughs> we had different definitions. I can not imagine just waking up every day. How long could you just go with just just doing nothing? <laughs> I I kind of subscribe to Peter from Office Space. Right, that's what I was thinking. That's the American dream to wake up and just do. Kidding. Absolutely nothing. And I loved every minute of it. It was everything I thought it could be. No, eventually you would lose your mind. But that's not the point. You can do whatever you want to do. Why would you continue to work? Right. Hobbies. And I, I say the same thing for coaches. I mean, these guys will coach until they drop dead. Announcers, same deal. Die on the microphone. Oh, to die on that microphone. I don't know why. You got enough money to get out. Get out. It, it just it's becomes their life. It's all they know. It's all they do. It's all they know. I promise you. I won't work here a day longer than I have to <laughs> die on this microphone. Get the hell out of here. There's a whole lot of other things in this world I want to do. We'll get to Michigan basketball at 2.30 because I have something for you that I think you're really going to enjoy. It is a question, and I think you have to fall. On one of two sides. I don't believe there's a middle ground. I will explain. When your battery loses its power, you lose your ability to get out, get around, and get things done.